good. Ready, ready, ready! Now! Podcast turn! Now! Now! Podcast turn! Grab that wheel. Excellent, well done. Basic evasive driving techniques such as uh, J-turns, handbrake turns, and also controlling the car through a slalom as fast as you can. Well, my name is Dave Thomas. I'm the managing director of Spy Games Limited. I'm also the managing director of a security and investigation company. Spy Games was set up in 2001 to allow people to experience the world of espionage, spies and secret agents and play around at some of the stuff that we've done for real over the years. I was taught in the UK and I was taught on a special forces driving course and those are the guys that taught me how to carry out all the various different manoeuvres. Sometimes if it's a uh, very risky situation uh, and there's a possibility of having a contact then obviously you might be driving an armoured car and that's a different kettle of fish uh, again obviously with the windows, with the armour plating and everything else it makes it a very very heavy car indeed and you may have run flat tyres as well so again that makes a difference to the car so it will behave differently, it will steer differently, brake differently and manoeuvre differently. What we're looking at today is obviously uh, oversteer and understeer of the vehicle, so obstacle driving as we call it, so you're driving in and out of obstacles, if somebody puts an obstacle in your way to slow you down or prevent you driving through an area, you need to be able to handle the car at speed, keep control of the car, which is most important, and then obviously the anti-ambush drills that we talked today was the J-turn primarily, so again, if you're at a tra set of traffic lights and you need to reverse back at speed, you haven't got time to do a nice slow three-point turn, you literally want to whip the front of the car in around and get away from the uh, contact as soon as possible. A nice bit of speed, not too much to feather around the corner as we come around. Accelerate, hit the cones, hit them, accelerate through, and then around. Again, nice and tight, off, feather it, accelerate, coming around. Do you mind if I just do a couple of loops? Absolutely, so, yeah, uh, yeah. Just get what back. I, what I didn't do was probably test the car, test the feel of the car out. Yes, enough, so. yeah. The key thing is you know where to jab it and then turn in or turn out. Good. That's it, just jab it if you need to. Good, just jab it, yeah, just a little jab. Yeah, good, we made it. Just that last little section there yeah. just catching us out a bit, isn't it? Good, that's it. Jab it if you need to. That's it. Good, 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 good. In and out. Accelerate now. Go, 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 go. Good. Yeah, good. That felt better, didn't it? That was smooth. Hummer, yeah, it's a big beast. It's very, very heavy, a little bit cumbersome, but again, it'll still do a J turn as you saw today. So the car will always come round every time, but just takes a little bit more effort. I think the Hummer H3 is great. I think it's a great big, huge lump of metal. That is a statement. Yeah, it's pretty hard to get a Hummer. H3 to do a, a J turn to reverse at 30 miles an hour, spin it around within the width of the car, and then accelerate away again in a perfect 180 degree line. But the guys here can do it, and they can do it with any vehicle that we bring on the track today. All right, Chris, uh, hi there, my name's Fred. Hi, Fred, hey. how are you doing? Not so bad yourself. Right, the J turn. Okay, you can have your hand between the, um, the fire, uh, sorry, between the four and five o'clock, like so, with your thumb outside. Okay. okay? Halfway across, Chris, all I'll say to you is ready, 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 now. Only on the word of command now, take your foot right off the gas, turn that wheel hard and fast, all the way round to six o'clock. As you've taken your foot off the gas and you flick the wheel round, as the vehicle's going round under its own steam, instinct will be to hit the brake, okay? No brake whatsoever, you're in control of this vehicle. Okay, so this is what it feels like. Okay, you're in reverse. My hand between the four and the five o'clock position, okay? My foot will be flat down on the, on the gas, which it is now. It's so all the way down, all the way down. It'll be ready, ready, ready. Now, put the gas turn. Drive, drive, drive. And that's all you do. Let's go, floor it. Keep it there, keep it there. Ready, ready, ready. Now, put the gas turn. Drive, drive, drive. Grab that wheel, grab that wheel. Grab that wheel, that's it. Excellent, well done. You have the gears. Okay then, Chris, let's go then. Let's floor it. Keep it there, keep it there. Let's go. Ready, ready, ready. Now, got the gas turn. Drive, drive, drive. Grab that wheel, grab that wheel. That's it, excellent. Okay, we'll sharpen that up a little bit more now, Chris. And we're going now, let's go, let's go. Come on, you got that lever, you got the lever. Ready, ready, ready. Now, got the gas turn. Drive, drive, drive. Excellent, up to the barriers, we go from here. Stop there, stop there. Let's go, you got the gears, you've got the gears. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on. 
Ready, ready, ready! No! Off gap, turn! Drive, drive, drive! Excellent. Same again, up to this cone here. Same, same drill. And let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on. Ready, ready, ready! No! Off gap, turn! Drive, drive, drive! Excellent, strap those tyres. Gently, gently, stop. Stop there, that's it, gently. That's it, well done. Strap <laughs> those tyres there. <laughs> By the end of the day, you'll feel very, very confident behind the wheel of a car. And the good thing about doing it here is in your safe, controlled environment with instructors with years and years of experience in terms of driving, but also in a car that's not yours and you don't really care if it gets damaged. That's the key thing. Having confidence behind the wheel, and that will be really half the battle. Just the ability to get out of something tricky, even if it's not someone that wants to blow your head off, is going to be pretty useful. And anything you do, spending more time being taught by experienced drivers, is going to teach you to be safer and maybe also allow you to have a bit more fun when you're driving. It's pretty eye-opening to see how fast they can do things. When I first got in the car with Dave and we went through the slalom at speed, these are cones 10 paces apart and he goes through them at 30 miles an hour without touching one of them and in complete control at all times.